Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So today we're just going to take a look at a bunch of sales. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah. Um, if you saw my last video, you know, I decided to sell my vintage Nintendo collection and that took off mega fast. Uh, within 48 hours less than 48 hours uh i've sold all my heavy hitters and most people just pulled the trigger on prices without even sending offers i, I did a few offers but like well the most expensive game ducktales 2 fired off uh actually somebody made a multi-quantity purchase of two games that that and the another game uh without even haggling full price and then i communicated with them they said they live in a, a rural area shipping shouldn't be a big issue so we'll see fired them off and uh got my full asking price so uh, and i had a bunch of other sales that weren't nintendo as well too so uh, it seems of course that's related i think to what everybody always says is that if you start listing a lot you make a lot of sales and it seems to always wake up the rest of your listings too uh i've always felt that way and uh by listing a bunch of nintendo games uh like a big burst of them uh it generated a bunch of sales so let's check it out all right here's a couple more sales uh sold a matchbox the vintage matchbox truck there i got a bunch of those still you know from that yard sale this whole box is full and uh over there is full of hot wheels uh that one was about nine dollars and 64 cents total paid by the customer then uh Strategio, the vintage edition right there. That one was 34, oh wait, 39.55 total paid by the customer. All right, let's get some sales rolling. Uh, first, I'm gonna do the Nintendo. So they started selling quick. So here's what we got that sold over the, this is Monday evening and I started listing them on Saturday. So what I'm going to do with these guys is if it's a single game and it sold for under, let's say under $30, I'm just going to put it in a padded. But if it's a game that sold for $30 or higher, I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to put it in a padded and then put it inside of an eight by six by four inch box. And then if it's a, a more than one game, I'm going to put it in a, a box like this. Let me lay these out so I can show you what's sold here. So it goes like this. <laughs> Alright, so we sold Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. That one sold total price. Uh, so when I say total price paid by the customer, I mean they, it, it, the shipping is added into there and everything, okay? So total price paid by the customer, $26.10 for TMNT 2. Great game, great game. Then we got, oh, okay, then we got the big sale. Uh, Somebody bought two games, and one of them was the DuckTales 2. Very nice condition, DuckTales 2. Uh, that one was uh, 329.22 total paid by the customer. That's including shipping and everything. And then they also bought Monster Party uh, for $26.63 total paid by the customer. So about a $350 sale right there and somebody bought a Tecmo Super Bowl Tecmo Super Bowl sold for twenty dollars and ninety eight cents total paid by the customer and uh, Mike Tyson's punch out somebody bought that Mike Tyson's punch out sold for forty three dollars and twenty two cents total paid by the customer and what else we got okay Maniac Mansion uh, that was a fun game as a kid uh, I rented it uh, twenty nine thirty nine total paid by the customer. All these are pretty good games. That's the reason they, that these things sold fast because they're great games and uh, they're desirable games. Uh, then we sold Super Contra Super C. Super C sold for twenty six dollars and seventy three cents total paid by the customer. 
Then uh, TMNT 3, Turtles 3. The Manhattan Project. That one sold for uh, $44.98 total paid by the customer. Then uh, Gremlins 2, the new batch. That one's one I was just discovering later. I didn't play it as a kid, but it's a pretty, it's a really good game. Gremlins 2 sold for $41.99 total paid by the customer. Then uh, good old Friday the 13th. <laughs> Friday the 13th, a horror game for kids. <laughs> It has its flaws, but it's it's kind of like a cult favorite. Friday the 13th, uh, $17.97 total paid by the customer. Then, uh, right at the beginning, I had a, a four-game purchase from one customer. They bought these four games right here. One was the Motor City Patrol. I'm keeping it separate because it has a lot of stickers on it. This was the only guy that kind of like haggled with me a lot. Um, but I ended up making good deals. Uh, so I got from... So for Motor City Patrol, and then he bought Shadow of the Ninja. Nice, really nice copy. And uh, a cheaper one, Rampage. And then he bought my second expensive, most expensive game, uh, G.I. Joe. So he made a few offers. All those came out to these four games. Total price paid by the customer was uh, $284.10. So that was a good one. Then, actually that was it. That's it for the Nintendo. So, still got some decent ones listed up, but the, the really big ones, the heavy hitter ones, except for a couple, actually no, the, the, the major heavy hitters are gone now, this is it. So that was, that was like eight, 800 something dollars, I think, worth of Nintendo sales. So, and I still got a lot more to go. And so for the DuckTales 2 with the uh, Monster Power, I'm um, making taking extra precautions, packing, and I will be. I'm even though it's first class, I'm going to ship it priority mail just for an extra bit of better postal service. Okay, then I sold this. Uh, had this for a long time. This is a vintage uh, sub. No, Subway. Yeah, Subway toy. Uh, Disney uh, Pecos Pete, I think, or Pecos Bill, from uh, Paul Bunyan. <laughs> Weird little restaurant toy. Eight sixty six total paid by the customer for that guy. So I'll throw it in a four by four by four. And then I sold these Mega Blocks pieces, two from the Mega Blocks Dragons lot. Those two pieces there sold for ten eighty one total paid by the customer. Those I think I can just throw in as padded. Should be fine. Then I sold this uh, Hatchimals collectibles little case for the Hatchimal eggs. I get that for two dollars, I think, at the thrift store. That guy sold for twenty-three dollars and seven cents total paid by the customer. This guy, I'm gonna see if I can get away with just putting in bubble wrap and a mailer to where it'd be first class. All right, I sold some of my Pathfinder Tales books again. I used to have three copy, three different titles. I ran out of one, so now I still got a lot of these two titles. So they sold again. Uh, Ten dollars and seventy-three cents total paid by the customer. So that's an easy uh, media mail ship. I just pad this up a little bit with a plastic bag. Yeah, that's pretty good. Two pound media mail. All right, here's one I forgot about. It was sitting in there, I didn't lift it up. This is a uh, Konami Presents Dungeons and Dragons, uh, a Shardalon dragon piece. It's in the bag, I don't know if you can see that. This is a Dungeons and Dragons character representation piece. Got that for like five bucks, I think, at the thrift store. That sold for $39.98 total paid by the customer. Throw that in an 8x6x4 as well. Some bubble wrap to wrap it in. Eight ounces. 
All right, Steve. Uh, viewer Steve uh, saw something else he wanted from my store, so that's great. I really appreciate the support, Steve. Uh, found a Wii Guitar Hero controller he wanted. It's pretty decent. I cleaned it up. Uh, it's not perfect, but it should be good for personal use for the Wii. And Steve, uh, I do have some Super Nintendo games in my bin here. Let me show you that right now. All right, Steve, um, you were asking about Super Nintendo. Here's some stuff I got. This stuff is pretty dirty and dingy, though, so you would have to, to clean, clean it that I can make you a deal. Super Nintendo games, I've got, uh, here's Judge Dredd, High Impact, Super High Impact Football, Darius Twin, Championship Pool, The Rocketeer, Outlander, Prince of Persia, uh, Skins Game, Golf, Madden, College Football, NBA Game, Really Bad Condition, uh, golf, uh, Ken Griffey Major League Baseball, we got Wayne's World there, uh, Stanley Cup, Adams Family, Pugsley Scavenger Hunch, Home Alone, NCAA Basketball, um, so here we go, Super Star Wars, Super Return of the Jedi, oh dang, Going down this row right here, I got Super Star Wars, Super Return of the Jedi, Super Play Action Football, Super Mario World, two copies, NBA Jam, Primal Rage, another Super Mario World, NBA Jam, Road Runners, Death Valley Rally, Lion King, Star Fox, Miss Pac-Man, Kevin Griffey Jr., Baseball, Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City, two copies of Final Fight, Super Play Action Football, two more copies of Star Fox and Disney's Aladdin. So, any of those games I could, the condition, I can't guarantee you very good condition but if you want to clean any of those up Steve uh, it's up to you let me know we can make a deal all right so see if there's any games that you want to get from there Steve uh, I'll make you a deal for a, a discount not only because you're a, you know a viewer and and frequent shopper and everything of course but because uh, the games do need some work uh, probably cleaning and stuff like that so anyways uh, let's package this up uh, 43 total uh, about $43 total paid by the customer for, uh, by Steve. Uh, appreciate that once again. Uh, and this is a good example of where I use my priority mail boxes and cut them up. So we'll do that. So in case you haven't seen this in a while, you get two priority mail long boxes. The mailing boxes are flat rate boxes. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable using the flat rate ones, you can just use the ones that don't say flat rate on it. But as long as you're shipping priority mail, it should be okay. I'm shipping standard priority mail rate, not flat rate. And if you're also, if you're worried about it because uh, some people say their post office still tries to reject it, uh, just get you a big enough, some mailers. Uh, I may have run out of my really big mailers, but get you some mailers that are big enough to go around the box and that's all you gotta do. got one side put in our guitar get our other side So now I got one box inserted into the other, so now I can actually just push this down until I get close to the 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 neck and everything. And see now, really, the thing does not move around much in there at all. 
So it's basically a custom sized box. Then you just re reinforce this seam here with tape. Here's my big mailer. So if you're concerned about your post office trying to reject it, even though technically this should be allowed as long as you pay for priority mail, just put it in a big mailer. And they should have no right to inspect this package because you're paying priority mail. So as far as I know, as far as I know, it's just a, a, a regular box. There we go, one Guitar Hero controller. It's gonna be a four pounder. Thanks again, Steve, it's going out. All right, here's a Snappy Trap Double Bowl Sinks Drain Kit that I got at the garage sale for $2, I think. Never used. That drain kit sold for $30.32 total paid by the customer. Here's a box that's been sitting for a long time I never use. I'm gonna use it up and cut it down to fit this. And I don't know, for some reason I feel like I wanna provide some box protection thing. Pounder. All right, from my recent vintage uh, pickup, toy pickup, this robot was in there. This is a Robotech, a Matchbox Robotech uh, Transformer style robot. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about the toy line, but this turned out to be a good one. This was a winner. This guy, 76.61 total paid by the customer. Great find, and uh, a collector is going to get a piece that. For the collection that's kind of not easy to find always. All right, then I sold some more Mega Block stuff. Here's a little Mega Blocks anvil and a little Mega Blocks crossbow from the Dragon series and a little Mega Blocks cauldron. Somebody bought all those together, made a few offers. Those three pieces came out. Total price paid by the customer $17.93. All right, and then finally uh, I sold that Nerf rival lot that I just recently got. My goal of flipping it quickly works. Three rival blasters here. I did pay up for these about 20 bucks, but sold it quick and I think to California too, so the shipping ain't gonna be too bad. 57.77 total price paid by the customer. Make a little profit, get them moving. Padding so they don't bounce around too much. Pretty heavy though, nine pounds. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any interesting comments in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.